Okay, sorry. So hello students, this is Aman Jain, Assistant Professor Department of Civil Engineering and uh, today's subject of this video lecture is Environmental Engineering Second. And we have to start with introduction of wastewater management with, in today's lecture. Till now we were discussing about um, treatment of uh, pure water and now we will discuss about introduction to wastewater management. Let's go through the uh, background of the subject. The background of this topic and uh, the background is that out of, the, out of the, this total water supply, it means that the total water which we have supplied uh, to the domestic or uh, other uses. So generally 60 to 80 percent contributes as uh, waste water. In most of the cities, uh, wastewater is let out partially treated or untreated and uh, it either percolates into the ground and turn, it turn contaminates the groundwater or it is discharged into the natural drainage system causing pollution in downstream water bodies. So, there is a problem of wastewater and there is a problem of treatment of uh, wastewater. Uh, as said that 60 to 80 percent of the water converts get converts into the waste water so you can think that uh, how much amount of waste water is generated on the daily basis and uh, what type of treatment is necessary over here so let's talk about India that what is happening in our India that water pollution comes from the main sources such as domestic sewage, industry effluents, leakage and runoff from the solid waste dumps and agricultural land. So these are some main factors on which the water pollution is dependent and so we have to uh, focus on the treatment of the waste water which we all together are uh, supplying or generating and so let's uh, and uh, the regular monitoring of the water quality in the rivers and wells this country revealed that the total coliform levels uh, coliform counts far exceeded the desired limit in the water to be fit for human consumption and that came in the report by CPCG, CPCB that is Central Pollution Control Board report in 1997 it came and today the scenario is like same it is not changed so first of all prior to the treatment of the waste water let's go to the some important terms and definitions which are uh, very much important to learn prior to study of this subject so let's uh, study that so let's discuss that that what are the important terms and definitions so first comes the sludge what the sludge is and how it is different from the sewage so the sludge refers to the wastewater generated from bathrooms kitchens washing place and wash machines etc. Composition of this waste does not involve higher concentration of organic matter and it is less polluted water as compared to sewage. So <coughs> when compared to sewage, the sludge is less uh, polluted. It is generally generated from bathrooms, kitchens, uh, wash basins, washing places etc. But the sewage indicates the liquid waste originating from domestic uses of water, it includes sludge. So each kind of sludge produced, each kind of sludge produced is sewage. So it is discharged from toilets, urinals, uh, industry, uh, uh, wastewater generated from commercial, establish, commercial establishments like um, 
uh, institutions, industrial establishments, uh, uh, and uh, also the groundwater from and storm water that may enter into the sewer. So this is the these are the two important terms like uh, sludge and sewage, which are uh, which are used in the environmental engineering uh, with respect to wastewater. Subsoil water. So, what is the subsoil water? Subsoil water is the groundwater that enters into the sewers through um, leakage. In uh, called the subsoil water. So, this is very easy to understand. No problem with that. This uh, storm water indicates the rainwater of the locality. So, all the rain uh, rainwater came from the rain and goes into the sewer is storm water. Uh, sanitary sewage. Sanitary sewage is the sewage originated from the residential buildings comes under this category uh, this is very falling in nature very causes very foul smell smell it is the waste water generated from the laboratory basins urinals and washed closets of residential buildings office buildings theaters and other institutions it also referred as domestic wastewater so this is the sanitary sewage what is industrial wastewater? It is the wastewater generated from industrial and commercial areas. Uh, this wastewater contains objectionable organic uh, material, organic as well as inorganic material substances that may not be amenable to conventional treatment processes. So this is the industrial wastewater. What is night soil? Night soil is the term used to indicate the human and animal excreta. Human excreta from houses and uh, animal excreta from the place where animals are uh, kept for different different uh, purposes. Uh, sewer is in, uh, what is sewer? Sewer is an uh, underground conduit or drain through which sewage is carried to a point of discharge or disposal so this is uh, sewer sewage is the term the term sewage refers to the infrastructure includes device equipment and apprentices for the collection transportation pumping of sewage but excluding the works for the treatment of sewage so this is the sewage sewage is the system which is used to treat sewer or wastewater Basically, it is a science of collecting and carriage sewage by water carriage system through it. So, this is a water carriage system, sewage. And uh, from sewage system, we take or we transport the water to a wastewater to the place of treatment. So, this is sewage. The term sewage, I think you got it. Now, what is the wastewater? <coughs> the term wastewater includes <coughs> both organic and mineral content of the liquid waste carried through the liquid media. Generally, the organic portion of the wastewater includes the biological decomposition and the mineral matter goes uh, combined with the water to form dissolved solids. Sewage treatment plant is a basically facility designed to receive the waste uh, from the domestic, commercial and industrial sources uh, and to remove the materials that damage water quality and compromise public health and safety when discharged into the water receiving systems or then. So this is the sewage system. Uh, sewage system was, uh, from the sewage system, the wastewater is coming to the sewage treatment plant. It is a, it is a facility. That is, uh, that is designed to receive the waste from the city and uh, it is being treated over there in that facility. So what, what should be the objective of the collection and disposal? So this is, these are the objective of disposal and collection. So objectives are to provide a good sanitary environment and the condition of city protecting the public health. To dispose the human excreta to a safe place by a safe and protective means. So, 
the safe place with respect to the human um, with with respect to civet is that place where uh, the chances of mixing this uh, sewage with the chances of uh, the sewage mixing with the uh, drinking water are very less or it may get con it may contaminate the other sources of water as well so this that is the meaning of the safe and protective place over there to dispose all the liquid waste from commu community to a proper place for preventing a favorable condition of mosquito breeding fly developing or bacteria growing so this is the problem of uh, waste water um, storage because where uh, waste water is kept there is uh, there are favorable conditions for the growth of flies mosquitoes dengue um, dengue producing bacteria this mosquitoes and, and many others so that place should not be like that to treat the sewage if required so as not to endanger the body of water or ground water or land to get polluted where it is finally disposed of thus it protects the living environment from the degradation or contamination so it is very simple that the sewage cap should not um, as i said uh, should not um, not endanger the body of water or nearby or neighboring water body uh, so that it may get polluted over there so final disposal of uh, waste water should be like that that it should not uh, it should not pollute the water bodies so what are the different sources of the sewage the waste water generated from the household activities contributes to a major part of sewage so the waste water generated from the recreational activities like uh, in cinema halls or something else uh, public utilities commercial compl com complex complexes like malls shopping malls or like that and institutions like uh, our university uh, is also discharged into the sewers and these are the sources of um, sewage so what is the objective of uh, sewage collection and disposal to provide a good sanitary environment the condition of city protecting the public health to dispose the human excreta to a safe place a uh, safe and protective uh, means to dispose of liquid waste generated from community to proper place to prevent a favorable condition for mosquito breeding fly developing in bacteria growing to treat the sewage as per the needs as to not endanger i think this video. so this is the objective of sewage collection in waste water so what is the waste water care system uh, waste water care system uh, that i told i discussed that uh, sewage what is meant by sewage sewage is the uh, process of collecting and uh, transporting the waste water so this is the same waste water uh, carry system uh, in the past disposal from of the waste uh, from the waste water closes were carried out manually so there was a time when um, the people were carrying the uh, sewage manually from the door to door and uh, disposing of the of the place uh, designated but now the things are changed uh, waste water generated from the kitchen bathrooms and was allowed to flow along the open drains so this is not the condition on the situation just now uh, the primary method was modified and replaced by water gauge system uh, in which uh, these waste uh, is are mixed with the mixed with sufficient quantity of water uh, this waste is carried through the water uh, to closets conduits uh, under the condition of gravity flow the mixture of water and waste produces known as sewage so this is the sewage <coughs> so what are the advantages of this method modern method versus the previous method which was manual um, the advantages are the carriage of uh, waste on the head or carts is not required so that the older system when the sewage was carried on the ca carried on the heads of the people or the cart of the people you know bullock cart bullock cart were used to carry that uh, foul smelling sewage uh, from the door to door and it was disposed of the place so this is not uh, happening in this uh, uh, modern method the in this method 
it is carrying into the water, to in the drains, the conduits. Bad smell, which was unavoidable during the open transport of sewage, is not occurring due to the transport of this polluted water con uh, in closed conduits. Closed conduits. Uh, the old system was causing to the health hazards to the sweepers and to the nearby residents because of the, all the, of the possibilities of flies and insects um, transmitting the disease germs, disease causing germs from accessible uh, carts to the residents' food aid tables. Uh, this is avoided in water carry system because of the transport of nitrogen is in closed conduits. The human care excreta is washed away as soon as it is produced in the water carry system. The storing is not required uh, uh, as it was required in the olden system. Uh, days in the, uh, for days, uh, for some days it was, uh, or one to some days it was stored in the homes. So it is not required in the, men, uh, in the modern method. Uh, there is no bad smell are produced in the closed and new transport. So the smell part is gone. In the old system, the wastewater generated from the kitchen and bathrooms was required to be carried through the open roadside drains. For disposal, this is avoided in the civil system as the open drains could be generated bad odors when used for disposal of organic waste. Uh, the water carry system does not occupy floor area and sewers are laid underground. So this um, method is like this little bit space. Um, Space not, uh, not requiring space, space is saved, space saving. Uh, in addition, the construction of toilets, one above the other, is possible in the water carrying system, and combine electrine and bathroom together as water cover closets is possible. In the previous system, it wasn't possible. This is the one of the important advantages of the water carrying system. Just now. <laughs> this water carrying system also has certain drawbacks. So it is with some advantages comes with many advantages comes some drawbacks also and these drawbacks are <coughs> a large network of pipe is required for collection of sewage hence the capital cost of for water carrying system is very high in addition the operation and maintenance of sewage system is very expensive very much expensive Large wastewater volume is required to be treated before disposal. Uh, assured water supply is essential for efficient operation of the water carry system. So, these are some drawbacks. Uh, you may see that large network of pipe is required to transport the system. In addition, the operation maintenance operation cost maintenance cost is a little bit um, in the higher side. This method, large wastewater volumes is required to be treated before. So it becomes a very large volume when it comes, when the sewerage system uh, take, collects the water of the whole city on a one place, then it becomes a little bit difficult to uh, treat them before disposing them. A short water supply is essential for efficient operation of the water carry system. So it means always a water for what the system required is not there, you may think that this, uh, it is sure that uh, surely the system will fail over here. So this was some little bit um, drawbacks of the system, but the system is good, or okay, the system is very much advantageous with the manual methods. And so this was the introduction to many definitions, many um, things. So we will discuss uh, treatment of the wastewater when it reaches to a sewage system. So we will discuss uh, how to treat the wastewaters in the next class, um, next visual lecture, from where preliminary treatment, primary treatment, secondary, uh, tertiary or uh, tertiary treatment of the wastewater, and uh, as we have studied about the bio. bio uh, chemical oxygen demand and COD chemical oxygen demand. So, on the basis of that, we will study various things: physical, chemical, and biological uh, biological treatment of the water. So, on the basis of that, we will go through the 
and give me another best word for the next classes onwards. Thank you for today.